my current team wasn't very active and that's really important for free-to-play players especially you got to have an active group so you can get the materials that you want so you can craft the cards you want for the decks you want so i made a new team heart of the cards if you search it it's public just join and i'm hoping to get a group of people that are just active we exchange ideas and we donate the materials and just have an active uh, group together. So I just wanted to put that here before the actual video starts. All right, today we have a Nissa deck. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Nissa can have six cards in her deck that are any colors. And whenever you gain a mana gem, you heal one. I'm just running the forest because I'm trying to get to uh, a high mana count. So I'm not trying to do anything cute. I just want to consistently get one mana gem every turn, so for now it's just the forest. Birds of Paradise, one drop, zero, one flyer, debut, get a fragile mana gem so it heals you one, and then can block flyers, so it's pretty good. Uh, Scion is just a way to uh, have a consistent curve, so if you have a hole on like say a three drop or a five drop, you know, it'll just be a three three or a five five, um, or excuse me, a 4-4 or a 6-6, six, six. and um, it has Trample and Ward, so um, you can also drop it as uh, a late game threat. So it's just a, a good card pretty much any stage of the game. Rampant Growth is one of her signature cards. Two mana, gain empty mana gem. Elvis Archer, there's not a lot of good uh, two drops, but this has um, a good amount of defense, so can block multiple times against aggressive things and can also block a flyer. Uh, same sort of thing here, just another stat stick on two. This is her another one of her signature cards, uh, three drop, three, four. After you get a mana gem that's not from a land, draw a card. So if you gain mana any other way other than your natural plus one for your turn, you draw. So very good. Uh, Soul of the Wood, three drop, three, three with reach. Finale, here yourself with three. It's really good for getting you out of um, range of burn spells and uh, helps you stabilize. And again, another flyer blocker. Elvish Explorer is a four drop four four. After this fights during your turn, get an empty mana gem. It almost never goes off. They usually remove it or they just ignore it for a little while. But if it does fight, then that's great. Just gets you closer to your end game. Uh, Sylvan Shrine, four drop artifact, two charges, activate, get an empty mana gem. This is one of the cards that I can splash. Um, niv Mizzet is a 7-drop 5-5 five, five flyer. Debut, it draws two cards. After you draw a card, deal one damage to your opponent. So just really powerful and gives you a little bit more card draw, which I think this deck needs. Uh, Primeval Titan, 7-drop 8-8, eight, eight, debut and attack. Get an empty mana gem. So with, if this sticks around, you start ramping like crazy and you heal significantly um, with this card, you know, Every time when it's summoned and attacks, you heal for one in this deck, so it's pretty good. Uh, Ravenous Hydra, seven drop, seven nine haste. After this survives damage, it gets that much more, uh, much more power. So it's just another uh, bomb to drop, a surprise, uh, another win con. Uh, this is another card that I'm splashing. Um, debut, add a uh, Mystical Arcana to your hand and to your remaining deck. So he gives you one of these three spells and then puts the other two in the deck. They're all five drops. Um, give all friendly creatures sneak, gain control of an enemy creature, and summon three Skymaster Sphinxes. So just another win con. Um, wasn't really sure. This is obviously a, a flex spot. I had just pulled it. I want to test it and see how it works. Lava Wave was a big draw to this deck in general. Um, just because if you're ramping, this is going to come down, you know, turn five or six. Even coming down just one turn sooner is really powerful. One-sided war wipes are really good and, you know, just clears up everything. Uh, Crusher Worms, 9-drop, 6-6. Six, six. You guys know I like this card. It's crazy. Get three 6-6s six, for one card. Not much else to say. And Shadows of the Past, summons the strongest creature from your graveyard. Repeat as many times as you can. This card is the last card that I'm splashing. It just makes the deck extremely grindy. It's very hard to deal with. Your opponent finally breaks through, the, you know, your um, top end threats and then you, you play worms and somehow they get through that and then you drop this and then they just scoop, right? Um, also gives you a lot of game against control 
and it and uh, that's why I wanted to run the uh, two hydras because they have haste and it can bring these back so seems really strong and like always I'm gonna play a couple of games all right we got a row here see what we can get Okay, um, yeah, I'm fine with the rest of this hand. Let's go! I am not afraid to fight. Just gonna play the druid next turn. The wild has your back. And then growth the following turn and draw an extra card. Maybe he was trying to find another shock would they anticipate. Okay, he already had it. Alright. That was a lot of cards. So I'm just gonna ramp. Play my 2-4. Don't have much going on in my hand at all. Okay, I'm gonna be forced to drop a large scion. I would really like to draw worms. Uh -huh. 
Okay. I have seen unimaginable things. Gain control of an enemy creature. Okay. Um, so if he drops the snake with a sneak, that'd be great. Okay, now I kind of wish I had. But we didn't know that's what our top debt was going to be. Okay, ended up being fine because they took the hit. Less scary when you have a big board. And he's dead. Not a terrible game one. All right, let's see what we get for the last game. Nissa versus Asha. All right. That's the one that makes artifacts cheaper, right? I'm just going to keep the ramp. Time to face your fears. I am not afraid to fight. <sighs> yeah, it's the one that makes the artifacts cheaper. So I can expect to be milled. That was a fantastic top deck. There is nowhere to hide. Yeah, I actually think I play this this turn. I just want to get rid of that um, Sabotarder. Let's have a tour. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I will bl uh, pass and save my blocker. and get damage in before he potentially removes it and then attacks with both. <laughs> huh. 
I don't just don't trust the bird's gonna be around much longer. Titan and he bounces it to hand. That would be unfortunate. Destroying it's better than bouncing it for two. I think I will save myself the four damage just because worms are next turn. Okay, he seems to be slowing down a little bit. Okay, I am not passing this up. Stop the shenanigans. This had better be worth my time. Okay, that's like the absolute okay. best card he could possibly draft. That's honestly really obnoxious. Dude's just a sacker. Open your mind. Hmm. I missed. Really glad that wasn't one more nightmare. It won't matter because he's gonna draw and then attack, so that's game. I think if this guy wasn't an absolute sacker, um, then we win this the vast majority of the time. Like I'd say it's at least 70-30, our favor. I think this is one of the best cards in the game. I mean, I get that's the point of the deck. It's just when it high rolls, it really high rolls.
We just attack, man. Well, I'll spare you guys his BM. But that's the deck. I think we just got unfortunate there. Um, like I said, most of the time, I think we win that at least seven out of ten times. The Nib Mizzet completely brought him back into the game with the two extra draws and giving him a flyer that's a problem. So, um, I'm going to spend the next few days uh, just uh, playing a lot more of this game. I'm not sure what Planeswalker I'm going to do next. I think I actually have enough stuff for Raw now, so that's probably going to be the one that I post tomorrow. But until then...